two years after Russia's invasion, things here look bleak for Ukraine. Ukrainian forces are complaining of personnel shortages and ammunition shortages along the thousand kilometer front line, where they are mostly dug in in defense, trying to hold territory as Russia eyes in advance. Mobilization issues have resulted in uh, shortages in personnel across brigades. It's felt by um, all parts of Ukrainian forces. Uh, brigades complain that they're only 75% staff. That means that commanders can, can't rotate their soldiers in and out of really grueling battles on the position uh, for longer than a few days. It means they're tired, get injured quicker, and are getting sick. Uh, the ammunition problems compound this. Uh, the, in order to economize shells, commanders are only able to fire at very precise targets while getting hit by Russians relentlessly in multiple positions uh, as intense battles ensue there. Infantrymen don't feel confident that they have the protection from ar artillery and it affects all parts of the fight on the Ukrainian side. Uh, Russia has also had some victories. Uh, recently they, they took the uh, eastern city of Avdivka after long battles there and this was their second victory in the war uh, after the long and bloody battle for Bakhmut. Uh, Ukraine has shown some success uh, in the Black Sea. They've effectively used maritime drones to degrade Russia's Black Sea fleet. Um, but in order to continue to do this, they need more long-range artillery, and this is what they're asking from their Western allies. Uh, but Western aid hasn't been as forthcoming. Kyiv breathed a sigh of relief when the EU finally approved uh, 50 billion euros in aid after some resistance from Hungary. But this money is only meant to uh, support uh, Ukraine's economy and prepare it for EU membership. What, what Ukrainian officials are really waiting for right now is the military aid from the US, which is stuck in Congress. Um, until then, it's unclear what the future will be for Ukraine in this war. And a mood of gloom really hangs over the country because of this uncertainty.